this is my setup i just wanted to show you so this is power supply um, this is a programmer cg pro so when i bought it uh, they did not include the power cable so i bought this separately and i'm using my power supply to energize this CG Pro programmer. This is my EEPROM uh, 35128WT that came off uh, uh, instrument cluster BMW uh, 2020 X7. I'm gonna use this adapter uh, 35160WT to virginize uh, this instrument cluster or this EEPROM so I will only need to correct the pin number and I'm not going to touch the mileage because uh, the used instrument clusters that I bought it is the mileage is actually lower than my vehicle so I don't need I do not need to worry about that and I will only correct the uh, VIN number I wanted to show you how small is this chip. So this is a BMW key. This is a board. There's a platform where, where I'm gonna be inserting the chip and the chip itself. So on the, we have to follow the uh, pins and insert uh, this chip correctly into the uh, this board. And in order to do that, so you need to know where the lag number one on this chip. So it's kind of bad lighting here. And um, I'm going to try to show you where the lag number one. So all those chips. Uh, okay, yeah, I think like that we can see. So all those chips, as you guys see. Okay, like that. Yeah, I'm trying to play with light to, to catch the writing on the chip, the marks. So as you guys see, 35128W, so all those uh, kind of chips, uh, EEPROMs, so uh, will always have pin number one uh, from the writing uh, to the bottom left corner. So that means if you look facing the writing, so this is a pin number one right here on the board itself. It's going to be a pin number one. It's going to be over here. I have a pin number one right here on the bottom left corner off of this chip. And pin number one over here. Now one showing. So that's where the chip is going to go. Okay, everything is ready to get started. So the board is inserted, the chip is inserted. I'm gonna apply the power now. All right, now I'm gonna start the CG Pro software. Okay, it's trying to connect now. All right, showing device is connected, we connected. So I'm gonna pick here dashboard on the type, brand BMW. And 35128WT mode 1. Now I'm gonna click read. And now it's reading the info off of that chip. Alright, operation complete. Now it wants us to save the file. So I'm gonna name it original. and press save. All right, the file saved. I'm gonna collapse that and I'm gonna open my hex editor. 
Now I'm going to open my files that we just saved and now I'm going to look for the VIN code. Okay, I found already the VIN code. It's over here. So I'm going to copy. Then I'm going to go to the search, find. I'm going to insert here this VIN code that I found. Search, search directions all. And I'm going to press search all. Alright, so it found four places where this VIN code. So I'm going to click this one first. And I'm going to replace all this FF. Alright, next one. This one. Alright. Next one. Right here. And the last one. Also right here. So I'm replacing all that with F's. Alright, after that we're going to press save. We have to verify that all our VIN lines are corrected. We're going to press write. Yep, it's asking us if we saved original data. Okay, now it's writing to the chip. Now it's verifying the data. Okay, operation complete. Now we're gonna press read. Make sure it's reading. So we successfully virginize um, VIN number on the uh, Combi BMW X7 2020. Okay, after we're done <coughs> programming, I'm gonna disconnect this board and now I'm gonna pull this chip out. Okay, looks like we finished coding successfully, everything green.